This is my father's dagger. He traded it for tobacco when he was in Sicily in 1943. He also was awarded these medals. At least one specifically for the Sicilian campaign. So now, more than 75 years later, here I am tracing the steps of the Allied Expeditionary Force. This is world's worst maritime disasters, the channel that chronicles maritime war activities, in part military actions, including the amphibious invasions. In this case, the Allied invasion of Sicily. The Allied invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky, was a major World War II campaign in which the Allies fought to regain the island of Sicily from the Nazi powers, consisting of Italy and Nazi Germany. Now, if you're finding this informative, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the ship's bell. At the Casablanca Conference in January 1943, with the end of the North African campaign in sight, the political leaders and the military chiefs of staff of the United States and Britain met to discuss future strategies. With control of Africa, the Allies looked north to Sicily, target for invasion. Sicily in enemy hands meant domination of the Mediterranean shipping lanes. Sicily ours, the Italian mainland, was within easy reach. On the morning of June 11th, troops of the British 1st Infantry Division approached Pantelleria. Even as the assault boats moved toward shore, part of the Italian garrison capitulated as a result of air attack. After the landings, 11,000 Italians became willing prisoners of war. Complete tactical surprise. There was little opposition to the first landings, except near Jela. Instead of landing where enemy coastal defenses were formidable, we struck where the enemy thought the water too shallow for our craft to unload heavy equipment. Floating causeways, an ingenious method of bridging from ship to shore, made the landings possible. A well-guarded secret, the causeways proved successful under baptism of fire at Sicily. The British chiefs of staff were in favor of an invasion of Sicily or Sardinia, arguing that it would force Germany to disperse its forces and might knock Italy out of the war and move Turkey to join the Allies. At first, the Americans opposed the plan as opportunistic and irrelevant, but were persuaded to agree to a Sicilian invasion on the ground, grounds that the greatest savings to the Allied shipping that would be result from the opening of the Mediterranean by the removal of Axis air and naval forces from the island. It began with a large amphibious and airborne operation, followed by a six-week land campaign. How do you keep a massive military operation like this a secret? Operation Mincemeat was a successful British deception operation for the Second World War to disguise the 1943 Allied invasion of Sicily a pair of British intelligence officers obtained the body of Grinrear Michael, a homeless person who had died from eating rat poison. They dressed him as an officer of the Royal Marines and placed his personal item, items on him, including identifying him as a fictitious captain acting Major William Martin. The fake correspondence on the body between two British generals suggested that the Allies planned to invade Greece and Sardinia, with Sicily merely being a fake target to throw off the Axis forces. Mincemeat was based on a 1938 memo written by Rear Admiral John Godfrey the Director of Naval Intelligence Division, and his personal assistant, Lieutenant Commander Ian Fleming, who went on to pen the James Bond books. 
with the approval of the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and the military commander in the Mediterranean, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the plan began by transporting the prepared corpse to the south coast of Spain by submarine and releasing it close to shore where it was picked up the following morning by a Spanish fisherman. The neutral but Nazi-friendly Spanish government of General Franco shared copies of the documents with uh, Abwehr, the German military intelligence organization, before returning the originals and the remains to the British. Forensic examination showed they had been read and ultra de decrypts of German messages by Enigma machines showed that the Germans fell for the ruse. Axis reinforcements were shifted to Greece and Sardinia before and during the invasion of Sicily. Sicily received none. The effect of Operation Mincemeat meant Sicily was liberated more quickly than anticipated and losses were lower than predicted. The invasion itself began on the night of July 9th, 1943 and ended on August 17th. The Canadians, including my dad, formed the left flank of five British landings that spread over 40 miles of shoreline, went ashore near Pequino, near the southern tip of the island. The Americans, meanwhile, established three more beachheads over another 40 miles of coast. In taking Sicily, the Allies claimed to trap the German and Italian armies and prevent their retreat across the Strait of Messina to the Italian mainland. Strategically, the invasion achieved the goals set out for its Allied planners. The Allies drove the Axis, air, land and naval forces from the island and the Mediterranean sea lanes were open for Allied merchant ships for the first time since 1941. After things didn't go well for the Italian leader Benito Mussolini, he was toppled from power which opened the Allied invasion of Italy. The German leader, Adolf Hitler, was forced to replace the Italian forces in Italy and to a lesser extent the Balkans, resulting in one-fifth of the entire German army being diverted from the east to southern Europe, a portion that would remain until near the end of the war. The Americans were clearing the western part of the island and the British were pressing up the east coast towards Catania. These operations pushed the Germans into a small area around the base of Mount Etna where, uh, uh, where Catania Nueva and uh, Rigalbuto were captured by Canadians. The final Canadian task was to break through the main enemy position and capture Adrano. Here again, the Canadians faced not only human enemies, but physical barriers as well. The rugged, almost trackless countryside meant that uh, mule trains were required to bring forward mortars, guns, ammunition and other supplies. Nevertheless, the Canadians advanced steadily against the enemy positions. With approaches to Adrano cleared, uh, the way was prepared for the closing of the Sicilian campaign. Eleven days later, British and American troops entered Messina. Sicily had been conquered in 38 days. The Sicilian campaign was a huge success. Although many enemy troops had managed to retreat across the Strait of Messina into Italy, the operation had secured a necessary air base from which to support the liberation of mainland Italy and it also freed the Mediterranean sea lanes and contributed to the downfall of Mussolini. On September 8, 1943, General Dwight Eisenhower, later to become the 34th President of the United States, publicly announced the surrender of Italy to the Allies. This was the turning point in the war in Europe. I'm Alan Stokel. And remember, during COVID-19, wear a mask in public spaces or when you're closer than two meters or six feet. It's the most unselfish thing that you can do. So,
fair winds, everyone, and please stay safe.